Northwest Now is supported, in part, by viewers like you. Thank you. Executive Order 9066 was signed in February of 1942, ordering the removal of all people of Japanese descent into detention camps. Thousands came through the temporary holding camp at the Puyallup Fairgrounds, known euphemistically as Camp Harmony. Now the Japanese American Citizens League is opening a permanent memorial to those who passed through, and that's next on Northwest Now. One of the easy traps to fall into when it comes to history is when it seems like some event is just too crazy and too far past to ever happen again. But history teaches us that's not true. And that's why the Puyallup Valley Japanese American Citizens League is just finishing a $1.6 million memorial under the grandstands at the Puyallup Fairgrounds, the site of what was euphemistically known as Camp Harmony, where starting in the dark days of 1942, 7,600 people of Japanese descent would eventually pass through on their way to permanent camps in Idaho, Utah, and California. Steve Kiggins has more. Since 1900, families visiting Washington's largest fair in Puyallup repeat a tradition that spans generations. We need to protect and preserve the legacy of what happened. But this year, beneath the Washington State Fair grandstand, a new memorial offers a window cast with a darker shade on America's past. Two-thirds of those names belong to American-born citizens. Ichi, me, Sam. On August 30th, the Puyallup Valley Japanese American Citizens League unveiled the Remembrance Gallery, documenting the thousands of Japanese and Japanese Americans arrested and imprisoned inside the U.S. Army's Puyallup Assembly Center after Imperial Japan bombed Pearl Harbor more than 80 years ago. It's all deeply personal for JACL's president, Eileen Yamada Lamphere, whose relatives were also inmates. It's very emotional, obviously. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that my family is looking down and they're proud of me. The exhibit centerpiece, the names of more than 7,500 people imprisoned at the fairground. The gallery includes images and tales of survival <coughs> and audio which begs visitors to imagine living in horse stables or crowded barracks that robs privacy and dignity. A lot of my friends had no idea that we were incarcerated for over three years. Janet Baba and Ruth Lobeda Matsumoto share childhood memories when they were both forced into the Minidoka Relocation Center, a concentration camp in the southern Idaho desert where summer sun baked the barracks and winter froze the streets. I came back in the middle of my kindergarten year, right in the middle about January. And, and I came back when I was still four. The Remembrance Gallery is testament to their imprisonment and reminders how communities tie. I could see so many of my relatives there, future relatives. The relatives when we were there, and then as we grew up, we got married. Artifacts and stories reveal how bigotry and injustice can prevail if we fail our responsibility to protect neighbors. We have a moral obligation to stand up for them because part of it is nobody stood up for us. In Pierce County, Steve Kiggins, Northwest Now.